Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about the peep hole optimization. One of, one of the important question it will come in the examination. So first we will see the definition. Peep hole optimization is a local optimization technique used by compilers to improve the performance and efficiency of generated code. Guys, remember important point. Peep hole optimization and it is a local optimization technique. Okay. So what is the purpose of peep hole optimization to improve the performance and efficiency. Okay. So in order to improve the performance and efficiency, we'll use peep hole optimization technique. Now we'll see what are the types of peep hole optimization techniques. So one of the important question. Now you can see the types of peep hole optimization techniques. First one is the redundant load and store elimination. Second one is the constant folding. Third one is the strength reduction. Fourth one is the algebraic simplification. Fifth one is the combine operations. Sixth one is the dead code elimination. So these are called as types of peep hole optimizations. Remember there are six types are there. So we will see one by one now. So first one is redundant load and store elimination. Redundant load and store elimination. So redundant load and store elimination is a peep hole optimization technique used to eliminate unnecessary memory access operations specifically load and stores that do not affect the correctness of the program. So redundant load and store elimination low. What is going to be happen? It eliminate unnecessary memory access operations. Ante manaki evaithe unnecessary ga untayo what ni manamu remove chesam. So this is called as what we say redundant load and store elimination. So it is used to eliminate unnecessary memory access operations specifically load store that do not affect the correctness of the program. Now you can see one of the basic example of this y is equal to x plus 5 i is equal to y z is equal to i w is equal to z into 3. So you can have a code each other. I is equal to y, z is equal to i. Okay, so y is assigned to i. Again, i is assigned to z. So, e code ni manamu l r i ochu. So, oksa choose first line i stage ga vasthundi y is equal to x plus 5. So, ikada w is equal to z into 3. So, instead of z, manam. okay, so y is equal to x plus 5 i is equal to y, i is, z is equal to i, w is equal to z into 3. So, the in law unnecessary code m on the mari. So, y is equal to x plus 5, this is the common. Second one, i is equal to y, z is equal to i. So, w is equal to z into 3. So, instead of this i is equal to y, z is equal to i, directly we can write w is equal to, in place of z, I can write y. In place of z, I can write y. So, in the kante, y ni neno i lo store yes na. i ni malli z lo store yes na. Actually, what is the value of i? i is y. So, ila dead code ni manamu, din lo, e code ni eliminate chavachu. So, this is called as what we say, first to point, first to technique, redundant load and store elimination, one of the simple program. So, unnecessary code i is equal to y, z is equal to i. So, in place of this one, so I can write directly as, in place of z, we can write as y. So, ikada y is equal to x plus 5, w is equal to y into 3. So, in place of z, we can write this y. So, ikada second one, what we have? Constant folding. It computes constant expressions at compile time very very important point constant 
folding so it computes the expressions at compile time so constant folding lo manaki em jarugutundante expressions ni compile time lo compute chestundi so important point ikkada if you see this example int x equal to 3 into 4 so instead of int x equal to 3 into 4 directly i can write int x equal to 12 so one of the important one constant folding then lo em jarugutundi mari compile time lo manamu constants ni evaluate chestam int x equal to 3 into 4 so int x equal to instead of 3 into 4 we will write as 12 so this is about the constant folding so let us move on to third one strength reduction it replaces expensive operations with equivalent cheaper ones okay so the lo manaki em jarugutundante expensive operations ni cheaper lekka e replace chestundi y is equal to x into 2 ane operation ni we can write as y is equal to x plus x so ikkada y is equal to x into 2 is nothing but y is equal to 2x so instead of star we can write plus so x into 2 is 2x x plus x is also 2x so this is called as strength reduction so what is the benefit of this one when you use cheaper operations it will take the less memory so this is called as what we say strength reduction so now let us looking into algebraic simplification it simplifies the algebraic expressions so here algebraic simplification law it simplifies the algebraic expressions so instead of x plus 0 we can write as x instead of x into 1 we can write as x instead of x into 0 we can write as 0 so algebraic simplification law algebraic expressions ni simplify chestundi x plus 0 ni x leka convert cheyochu x into 1 ni x leka raayochu so x into 0 ni 0 leka raayochu okay so this is all about the algebraic simplification next we will talk about the combine operations okay so several operations are so this uh, concept is combine operations several operations are replaced by single equivalent operation suppose there are n number of operations are there if you write all the operations in single line oka vela gana manaku chaala lines lo operations unnayandi danni manam single line lo raya dalchukunte we can use combine operations so you can see int a is equal to b plus c so move r1 comma b so first b this kunam b will send to r1 next add of r1 comma 5 so r1 lo b undi 5 add chesanu move a comma r1 so a lo ki i am sending the result r1 so optimized code what is going to be happen instead of all these we can write a comma b comma phi so add a comma b comma phi what is the meaning of this statement b plus phi addition will be copied to a so this is called as what we say combine several operations okay so then manam combining several operations and antunam so you have three instructions which are the three instructions you know single ga convert chedamu jarigindi so next one dead code elimination it removes the code that is never used or ever executed one of the important point dead code elimination so people optimization law six technique which is dead code elimination it removes the code that is never used or never executed so x is equal to 10 and a value which are again they write as x equal 20 so this is a meaningless because if the x equal to 10 x equal 20 rasa what is going to be happen x equal to 10 10 will be replaced as x equal 20 so you need not write this one okay this is called as dead code elimination in this x equal to y is dead code so you need not write this one so this is called as dead code elimination so next we will see the 
బెనిఫిట్స్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ ఆప్టిమైజేషన్ అసలు బెనిఫిట్స్ ఏమేమి ఉన్నాయండి రెడ్యూస్డ్ కోడ్ సైజ్ ఇంప్రూవ్డ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ స్పీడ్ సింప్లిఫైడ్ కంట్రోల్ ఫ్లో బెటర్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ మిస్ మిషన్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ రెడ్యూస్డ్ కోడ్ సైజ్ ఎస్ కోడ్ సైజ్ విల్ బీ రెడ్యూస్డ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఇంప్రూవ్డ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ స్పీడ్ ఎస్ సో వెన్ వీ రెడ్యూస్ ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ద కోడ్ మనకి ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ స్పీడ్ అనేది పెరుగుతుందండి సింప్లిఫైడ్ కంట్రోల్ ఫ్లో ఎస్ బెటర్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ మిషన్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ ఎస్ ఫాస్టర్ కంపారిజన్ కూడా జరుగుతుంది ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ ది పీప్ హోల్ ఆప్టిమైజేషన్ టెక్నిక్ ఓకే సో థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ దిస్ వీడియో ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ యూ కెన్ ఆస్క్ మీ థ్యాంక్ యూ